Hello humans, my name is Kyo Overload and have you ever wanted to create longer AI videos? Well, in that case, today is your lucky day because I just created a very easy to use workflow that allows you to generate minutes long videos from scratch, either from an image, from text or extend an already existing video. Now you can find this workflow on my Patreon, so just grab it there, then make sure that you have updated config UI and then load the workflow inside. And once you do, you will see three different sections. The first First is the longer image to video, where you basically insert an image right here, which is very similar to the workflow that you've seen in my previous 1.2.2 video. So if you haven't watched it, definitely watch it first, or else you might be confused by the rest of this video. So basically you input your image right here, then you input your prompt, and then it's going to generate your video from this image. And then the way it works is that it's going to take the last frame of this video, then feed it into this new workflow where you're going to input your prompt for the second scene for the second video, and then it's going to generate the second part of this video and then put them back together to create a longer video. And then it's going to do it again and again and again and again. And like, for example, with this setup, it allows you to create five different scenes at 24 FPS with 81 frames, meaning that it's going to create a 15 to 20 seconds video. And once again, I mean, it is very, very easy to use. And it doesn't use more VRAM than creating one single video because we're basically just creating a bunch of separate videos and then stitching them together to create a final one. And what's really cool is that I also made it very easy for you to extend the workflow so that you can make longer videos in one single generation. Like for example, if instead of having five scenes, you want an additional one, well, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is just come here, hold control, left click, to select this entire part of the workflow, then you're gonna control C, control V to paste it. Then you're gonna just, you know, place it right here, just align it with the previous workflow. And then here, I color coded these two nodes that you need to connect with the previous node, which is really, very easy. All you have to do and just take that last node, then drag it until you connect to this node. And then once again, the same node, left click, drag it until you connect to this part of the node. And um, that's it. Now you just added another few seconds to the video generation. Simple as that. And you can theoretically make it even, even longer. Now, obviously keep in mind that none of this will be perfect because after all, we're only just stitching a bunch of videos together by using the last frame to generate the next video in the scene. But right now, this is really the best way to do this with the tools that we have. But if you don't have an image to use as a base for this workflow, well, instead of using the longer image to video, you can simply use the text to video where you can just once again input your prompt and then it will automatically create your video and then the next videos in the scenes so that in the end you have a very long like 20 second 50 second video that you can use and just save onto your computer. And I mean, once again, the quality is pretty decent for something that was generated from a basic text prompt. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. And once again, just like the previous workflow right here, if you want to make it even longer, well, once again, same principle, hold control, then select all of this, part of the workflow, control C to copy it, control V to paste it. You're gonna put it right here. Then once again, I color coded the nodes, so you're gonna once again drag and connect this node right here. Then once again, connect this node right there. And that's it. Simple as that. You will not find an easier way to do this. And another thing that I also added, if for example, you generated like a 30 second video or another video that you have in your library that you want to extend, well, instead of using an image right here, or a text as a base, you can actually use a real video. You can use the video that you have generated before or that you found online and you can input it right here in this workflow. And just like the other workflows, it's gonna take the last frame of this video, then use this frame as a base to generate a new video. And then it's gonna merge them together to continue the generation. So it's basically like a video extender workflow, which is really, really cool because you can also use videos of real people and do some really cool stuff, if you know what I mean. Because yes, since all of these workflows are compatible with LoRa's, the sky is truly the limit. And then once you've generated your video and you're happy with the results, you can also come here and upscale it 
to a higher resolution, like a 1080p video, and then interpolate the video so that it feels even smoother than before. You can even like multiply it by 3 and input a frame rate of 62 FPS to make it even smoother, but all of that is really up to you. So yeah, there you go, this has been a very quick update. Once again, this workflow is available on my Patreon, so just download it and use it as much as you want. And if you don't know exactly what kind of models is being used here, I definitely recommend watching the previous video in the subject so that you know what to do. So yeah guys, there you go, definitely try yourself yourself and have some fun.